All right, this is day, shoot, four. And um, not much left to do. It's uh, Monday, so it's the next day. And uh, what we're gonna do here is, that's gonna be the outflow pipe. So I'm gonna dig out the old one, put this in, level out that dirt there, and then uh, this will be done excavator wise and then uh, go down there mess with that a little bit drag it rake up what needs to be raked pick up anything that you know can't be mowed over and gonna call it good and then we'll be on to the next one uh, I brought a tripod we'll see how that works I want to do some time lapse but I'm just gonna try it with just doing a video that you can watch to your heart's desire and then skip forward through whatever gets boring if you're not already skipping. Alright, so did about 20 minutes, 24 minutes of work here. Got a nice little path now. Uh, new pipe is in. 
I thought it was longer. I was planning on it sticking out over here. Um, the other end is over here. This side. <clears throat> right there. So right at ground level so it'll water can actually positive rate come out and not just fill up with gunk, hopefully. I mean, not the end of the world. If it doesn't work, I can dig it up and do something different, but this literally has just been laying around the house since we bought it for five years, so I was like, eh, why not? Besides, apparently the kids like throwing dirt in the hole. I had to tell them not to. Oh, and look, there's still dirt in there. Well, I don't know. I don't like how high, how close that is to the top of the road. That wasn't my intent. YOLO. Um, now I'm going to grade this out. I'm not sure I'm going to get the excavator back down in the hole and then kind of just drag the dirt down and just have a consistent slope all along here. And we'll see how that goes. I might film a little bit of that as well. Let's see what it looks like. Um, well, shadows make it look worse than it is. I'm definitely going to have to come in here with a rake. Um, this really would be ideal for grabbing a log with the bucket and thumb, and then I can just sit down there and just rake it with a straight edge, like a log. But I didn't have one, and I don't want to go get one, so we're just going to do this. So I'll just come down with the rake and fiddle around a little bit. kids have fun with it though. Uh, now I'm going to go up here and mess with that a little bit and then uh, on to the next project. Um, I don't really like how this area turned out but we'll see how it is filled with water and what works what doesn't work and then next year I can come and tweak it with what I've learned. I'm not an expert at this so I mean Part of the reason I'm doing this is so that uh, you can watch and see how I'm doing things. And oh, we got a spy up there. Let's see if you can pick him out. It's hidden really well. But no, I'm just doing it the way that I'm kind of figuring it out. And you can watch and 
learn from my mistakes. Maybe it's you can have an idea that you're going to do something like this and you can see how I did it, you can see how it turned out, and you can either do it or modify it or do something completely different. But this is what I've done and whatever makes the wife happy, right? So I'll probably do one more and then video, edit it all together, and that'll be the finale. And then uh, we're going to go on to the next one. All right, well, here's the walkthrough. Yeah, no, I, I can't even see myself. I'm just pretending like I'm uh, checking myself out. So, um, yeah, I uh, checked the hour meter, 5.3 hours of excavator time, and uh, we'll see how it turns out on this video. Be be able to see you know it's just an old excavator high hour machine so I take it easy so I don't have to break or uh, minimize breaking things and I don't have to fix them so I'm uh, gonna drag this uh, tow a drag with my lawnmower I might try to get my brother's four-wheeler out here and I've got a drag I can pull over this to get a lot of the bumps out but uh, so this side over here I um, I did this side last year and filled this area in by digging out of the pond it was full of water at that time and just spreading m basically f straight up mud um, it's still super bumpy over there, but manageable. And then this side will uh, hopefully be a little less bumpy since I was able to do it dry. Uh, I'm not sure about that exit pipe elevation. Um, honestly, it's, it's, uh, cause it has a 90 degree turn up, which I like because then the water is pouring down and then has some uh, energy to keep the pipe clear. Cause this other pipe, it was just stagnant water through it. And so it was half full of mud. Um, I'm, I haven't gotten my laser level out to 
check the elevations. Uh, it might drain around that edge, that corner over there. That side should be fine. But just generally the water level is going to be about four inches, four to six inches higher than I was anticipating. Um, I can't dig that pipe down anymore because the exit is uh, at ground level. So, um, good thing is if it uh, is too high and I don't like it and it backs water up here and makes this all marshy, I can just go down there and just dig it out and just have the water um, drain right out there and then we can figure something else out. So. <sighs> Gonna give a little teaser for the next video. Not sure if it probably won't be the next video, but uh, the next project. Field of dandelions. See the pond down. Sorry, not a pond. Man, it is nice out. So the next project involves this area. All of it. That's all the hint I'm giving you. It's going to be quite the transformation. It might turn out completely terrible. That's why I'm doing this. What else am I going to do with my life? Got to have fun and do something, right? Well, that reminds me, I have to get to some video game playing. Why not?